Baby. Hi, baby girl. What a good girl. That's Recall okay. off of being pet. So we set that scenario up. We're always trying to set up scenarios where the dog might not want to listen and then they choose to listen anyway. That's really the bulk of the work that we're doing here. Right, because if they're listening in the training room or inside your living room, when there's not really a better option, that's not as impressive as if they're choosing to listen. See right now, she left Josh to come to me, so she's gonna get another recall, right? This is the scenario we're trying to set up. We're trying to um, have the mindset of, I listen no matter what, no matter what's in it for me, or if there's a better choice or not, versus I only listen when I want to, or when I choose to, and I'll always choose the better option, right? So we're trying to avoid that. We're trying to create a dog who just listens effortlessly. So me just sitting down here, the fact that I have a history of petting her right here, that might make her want to leave Josh's side, even though she's in the heel command. So it gives us a really good scenario to ask her to listen, even though she might want to do something else. And that time she chose to stay next to Josh. Wow. Oh, now he's going to come sit with me. This is a struggle. See? Correction. Good. Good. She wants to be right wow. here. But she's choosing to stay there because that's what we've told her to do. See, this is what good. she needs to learn. What a good girl. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing great. How are you? It's, uh, I'm doing it's well. a hot it's, one, but I'm thankful for this little patch of shade. It is hot. Good girl. Thankful for running air conditioning. Yeah. Look at that vine. I know. We got to clip that. There, huh? We got to clip that. It's going to take over the whole house. I know. Well, this is a setup that we're doing to strengthen our leadership and our commands. Mm -hmm. And it's recommended to do this stuff to get your dog tight and get the relationship right instead of just waiting for real life. Yes. You know? And this is good for her because she came here knowing everything. She knew it. She just didn't want to listen. Right. And now when you go home, if you want to wonder, how can I train her? I put that in air quotes because she's already trained. How can you strengthen it and how can you uh, make your get your relationship where it needs to be? You do this type of stuff. You do the setups, right? So this is obviously a setup. We let Julie pet her and then you've seen that I recalled her and she wanted to come back over here. I had her stay. I sat down. She wanted to come over here. We got that practice for me to be able to claim uh, the resource, which is Julie, which is a leadership exercise and also working on her command, her state command, even when she would rather be doing something else. But it is a setup, meaning we have, con Julie and I are in on the game, right? I have control over the situation. If it was organic in real life uh, and we hadn't been doing setups, then it would be a little bit more of a struggle, right? Because we don't necessarily have control of the strangers around us. So we do a bunch of setups first like this. And then when it feels really strong, those organic experiences will pop up in life and she'll think it's, she will know the difference between a setup and an organic. Right. If you do it right, she thinks they're all setups. Yes. And so you just notice that it transfers over to this. And then you're happy because she's listening. Right. So when she goes to school with you and stuff, it'll be much easier because she'll have that experience through the setup. So I'd recommend doing setups. And then when that feels really easy, um, start doing organic stuff. Okay. And good girl. So it does two things at once. It gets your relationship right. Leader and follower. And then it also strengthens the commands. And it gives her knowledge on what you would expect in any situation. Huge improvements. I just want to say Huge improvements. Oh, she wants to come over here so bad. Did you see her I, I stop see herself? It all. I see it she all. thought. Yeah. Well, this is what it's all about. Having a way to enforce a stay even when she might want not want to let me give you let me because i know that the owner worked really hard and she worked really hard and she was trying really hard so let me give you a little bit of advice of what not to do okay because this is something we see a lot i'm not going to try to keep her super successful all right i'm not going to keep repeating myself i'm going to tell her once and then i'm going to walk away and if she makes a mistake good because that's what we want we want to push the mistakes out so that we can correct them so that the, it gets to the point where we can't get them to make mistakes I know it doesn't seem possible, right? But that's what we get in every training.
program is we get to the point where we can't get the dog to mess up, that's what you want to do. So don't do this, okay? Don't go, okay, she had to stay, stay, stay. <laughs> Drop all that, okay? One, we're one to one ratio. That's what we say around here, right? I'll say it once, and then if you don't listen, I'll correct once. And then I'll say it again. And if you don't listen, I'll correct again. So I'll say it once, and then I'll correct once. I won't say it three, four, five, six times, um, and then correct once. It's one for one. I told you to stay, you didn't, correct. So set it up so that she makes mistakes. If it feels like there's a mistake in there, let's get it out. That's what the setups are for. So I say stay. If I feel like she's gonna make a mistake, I'm gonna push it. I'm gonna sit down, right? I'm gonna go a little See, further. That time she almost she made a mistake. almost made a mistake, and she chose to lay down instead. That's so amazing. You know why she's doing so good? because we let them make mistakes. Yes, and she doesn't We're want to anymore. We're not trying to keep her su right. overly successful. Let her make the mistakes, correct her, tell her what to do instead. What happens is they stop making mistakes. And you don't have to be like a broken record, like just constantly talking to them. Stay, stay, down, 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 down. And then they don't listen. And then your voice becomes irrelevant. And then you're in a position where it's like, yikes, we have no control. Good. She's looking good. How's her heel feeling? Um, I'm working on the joint. If it doesn't feel bad at all, Good. I think she's just about there. I think we made some progress yesterday, too. I do believe so. Shadow. Good girl. Heel. That's good girl. Look at that. That's a nice joint. That's a nice joint. Wow. Very nice. That's looking tight. Very good. That's excellent. That's excellent. And now here's, here's what's cool about this. Because we're doing it this way, permission-based, guess what the reward is? The release. So when she's finally released from her command and she's allowed to come be involved with whatever we're doing, which in this case is just sitting down, natural reward built into the situation. We don't need to carry, you don't want to be carrying all these treats and all this food and do an exchange like that. It's not the conversation we'll have. We'll eat later when we're hungry. Right? Her, her reward now is going to be released from her command, have her freedoms, and be able to come over and be involved, right? That's now a reward. It's built in. It's built into our relationship. It's built into the situation. Okay? Stay. Because where does she want to be? She wants to be over here. I'm not allowing her right away because I'm using that motivation to practice our, not, not only our obedience, Amazing. but our relationship dynamic, right? I need to be leader. She needs to be follower. Okay? So I will release her. Um, Before you release her, see if you can get a DOW on command. You read my mind. she was giving me a little trouble yesterday. You read my mind because, because the motivation is so strong to come over here and you, just, you, feel, you can almost feel this, uh, this gravitational pull towards the situation. If you're doing setups, you want to push a mistake out. And if she won't make a mistake, then you want to ask for something else to see if there's a mistake in there. This is how pressure makes diamonds. This is how we're going to get her solid. Okay, if it feels like she's gonna m make a mistake, then we play in the situation a little bit to see if we can get a mistake to come out. All right, it's not hard to do, believe me. All right, I mean, if I just started hugging on you or something, she might make a mistake, you know. But what I'm gonna do is give some um, silent, I'm gonna do this for her training right now. I'm gonna kick on the e collar real low and I'm not gonna give her any information uh, to see if she knows what she should be doing in the situation. Okay. Look at it, I got Beautiful. another seven. Beautiful. Love it. Good girl. Good I'm girl. Give her a little cut here. Oh. Just a little one. Good. All right. That was nice. That was nice. Amazing. Good girl. I know training's tiring. Shadow. Break. Good girl. And this is a reward. Yes, it is. This is a reward, right? They couldn't have been used as a reward before because she always had access to it, so it didn't mean anything. Right. She was always involved, right? Now you have the ability to use the training to, so that you'll have that contrast. What a good girl. Nice work, Shadow. That's good. Down. It's pretty nice. Very good. Very good. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna give her a little pat here. Wow, girl. Really nice. Shadow. Break. Nice. 